Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Analytics 4 tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to track a thank you page event in Google Analytics 4 with the help of Google Tag Manager. So what do we want to do? What we want is to ensure that we're going to track a Google Analytics 4 event in our tool. Mm -mm. Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Analytics 4 tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to track a thank you page event with the help of Google Tag Manager. So what this means is let's say someone buys something from your website and they land on what we call a thank you page, a distinct unique URL that is called slash thank you or slash order received or whatever it is for your business. We want to register this as an event in our Google Analytics 4. What this means is that every time that we come here to our Google Analytics 4 and we go under any, let's say, report, whether it's traffic acquisition, for example, or any other report, we want this event to show up under the event count column or to show up under conversions here. So we want to have an event basically that is going to be relevant to this action the fact that people took an action, they bought something, they complete the form, and they landed on a thank you page. That's what we want to do. How are we going to do this? Through Google Tag Manager. First, we need to have our Google Tag Manager installed in all the pages of our website. So prerequisite number one, we want the Google Tag Manager to be installed in all the pages of our website, which means once you have a Google Tag Manager, account the container, you are going to go to admin, you are going to go to install Google Tag Manager, you're going to grab the tracking code and you are going to install it in all the pages of your website. This is job number one. Job number two, you are going to click on variables. Then you are going to go here to configure and you are going to toggle on all the variables available. Right, So that's something that you really need to do before you get started. Job number three, you are going to create a new tag. So either you are going to go to tags and click on new or from the overview on your tag manager, you're going to click on tag and you're going to give your tag a name. So here we are going to name this tag GA4. And as an example, we're going to track as an event all the visits to this URL, the contact page. Same logic you are going to follow for any URL, including thank you pages. Now I'm going to use this just for the example, right? So I'm going to name this basically contact page visits. We're going to give our tag a name. We have two steps to follow from this point onwards, the tag configuration and the triggering. Tag configuration means what are we setting up? We're going to click here and we are going to select the second option GA4 event, Google Analytics for GA4 event. So the next thing that we're going to do under the screen basically here is to give our event a name. So you're going to name this event. Whatever name you give here, that's exactly the name that is going to come up in your Google Analytics once you start tracking this event. As a quick rule of thumb, never leave spaces. So you can name this, let's say, thank you page, order received, transaction, lead form submission. In my case, is basically a contact page visit. And the next thing that we need to do under configuration tag, we need to give to the system the unique identification number of our Google Analytics 4. So we need to give our measurement ID basically here. Where are we going to find our measurement ID? If this is the first time you create an event, you are going to say, I want to manually input my measurement ID. So you're going to say here, manually set ID. You're going to go to your Google Analytics, click on admin. Then you are going to click on data streams. Then you are going to click on your data stream. And then on the right hand side here, you're going to see your measurement ID. You are going to copy this number and you're going to paste it here in this box. So essentially what we are saying to the system is we want to create an event which is going to be called blah, 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 and it's going to live within this 
data stream, this Google Analytics property with this data stream. After you do this for one time, subsequently the system will remember your measurement ID. So you don't have to do this all the time. From the second time onwards that you are going to create events, you can select basically GA4. The system will remember your measurement ID. That's 50% of the job. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on triggering. Triggering means when is this event happening? This is what a trigger is. We are going to create a new trigger. Click the plus symbol up here on top. We are going to name this GA4. I'm going to use the example is basically the contact us page visit or the contact page visit here. And we are going to select here page view. The trigger type is going to be page view. Do we want to track all the page views, all the URL visits on the site? No, we want to track only some of them. So we are going to click on some page views and we're going to say when the page URL contains this string of letters and numbers for view is going to be the thank you page, the order received page, whatever exactly you want to track that corresponds to a URL address. Then this is when this event is happening. We are going to save and that's our setup. So one more time, you're going to create a tag under your tag, you are going to select Google Analytics GA4 event. You are going to give your measurement ID to the system. Or if this is not the first time you are doing this job, you are going to select your Google Analytics for measurement ID. You are going to give your event a name. Then you are going to create a trigger. You are going to select page view as the trigger type. And you are going to give the condition. This event happens when people visit a specific URL on the site. Then you are going to save basically here. You're going to submit and publish your container. That's very important. This means we're going to save all the changes and send them live. Once your uh, tag manager, your container is live, then we're going to preview and verify if this event is working. So how can we do that? We're going to click on preview on our Google Tag Manager. Then we're going to copy the URL where this event is happening. So in this case, we are using this page here. We are going to paste it here in our Tag Assistant box. And now we are going to see that we are going to have two tabs open in our Google Chrome. One is going to be this page that we want to track with the Tag Assistant box hovering on the right-hand side. And the second one is going to be our Tag Assistant that shows us what is going on behind the scenes. So you are going to go to the Tag Assistant and under the tags fired, you should see the tag that you just created firing one time. So here we can see GA4 contact page visits tag that we created is firing normally. This means that our setup is correctly. If you want to see why it is firing, you can click here. Why it is firing? Because this condition is true, basically. The user visited the URL that contains a standard string of text, right? So that's how you can track thank you pages in uh, Google Analytics 4. Once you set up your event, keep in mind that Google takes up to 24 hours to show start showing data. So if you don't see, for example, this event showing up immediately in your Google Analytics 4 reports, don't panic. It takes up to 24 hours for this event to be actually uh, register and show data in your uh, GA4, right? But you can always preview here and you can verify if your setup is correct and if this is working fine for you. This process is the one that we follow to track thank you pages or any events that are relevant to a page URL. So always you make sure your tag manager is on all the pages of the site, you create a tag, you create a trigger, you give your condition, and that's it. You publish your container, you verify it works with the preview, and you are good to go. A lot of you ask now, why should I use Google Tag Manager and not, let's say, do it maybe through Google Analytics 4? We use Google Tag Manager for organization purposes and for convenience purposes. First of all, it's easy versus other ways of tracking. And secondly, for, from an organization point of view, I can come here to my tag manager. I can look at 
what is currently working behind the scenes of my website, what are the triggers. The system also automatically saves certain versions. Every time I update, it saves the version so I can actually go back if I did a mistake. So from an organization point of view, it is really convenient to use the Google Tag Manager as opposed to track events in uh, different ways. For example, as opposed to using the code to track the event, for example, uh, on my website, or as opposed to using, for example, the Google Analytics for interface to track this kind of events. That's why my recommendation is always use Google Tag Managers to be nice and organized. That's it. If you have questions, feel free to type them below the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.